But Dylan, your take, what are the implications of this decision? This isn't just a public figure and, and freedom of speech. If you don't take a stand after what happened on January 6th, where do you? Well, well, just before we get to that, Stephanie, I just want to provide a little bit more context on the nature of the decision that the Oversight Board made. They did uphold the suspension, yes. They said it was right for him, uh, uh, right for Facebook to suspend Trump because he was in clear violation of promoting people and, and encouraging people who were engaged in violence. At the same time, uh, and admittedly, it's buried quite far down in the decision, Face, uh, the Oversight Board says it was not appropriate for Facebook to place an indefinite suspension on the president. And, and really what they're getting to there and what they explain is that this was very much an ad hoc decision. There are not clear policies from Facebook about how you would apply this across the board, particularly to political leaders in other countries. And therefore, the Oversight Board is asking Facebook, giving them six months to come up with clear standard policies whereby they could apply something like this across the board. So look, this decision just came out. We're still reading through it. But my interpretation of it so far is that, well, the ban has been upheld, the initial ban, uh, and then the extension of the ban. There is a strong recommendation here from the oversight board to establish clearer rules uh, and, then, and then revisit this decision. So I would not say as of now that we can confidently say that uh, the, the former president is banned from Facebook and Instagram for life. OK, so in terms of high school, yeah. former President Trump is still suspended, not yet expelled. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.